Today is one to talk about current electricity practicals. So we've been waiting for so long about what we call it current electricity practical. But as now we are moving on, we are having we will be having several parties on how now we can learn about it, current electricity electricity practical. Ko meme mkondo wa meme kwa vitendo utakuwa na makundi mengi sana. Lakini hii ni mwanzo tu ni namna gani ambapo tunaweza tukafanya practicals za calendars. Now current electricity practicals first of all you have to understand the errors that will possibly happen when you are conducting experiment. Why did so? It is very important for this one because we just want to be precisely, we want to do our experiment our experiments precisely. Kwa hiyo maana yake lazima tujue errors ambazo zinaweza zikajitokeza wakati tunafanya experiment. Na kama hauwezi kujua mambo ambayo yatajitokeza wakati tunafanya experiment, itakuwa ni vigumu sana kuweza kujitamaini kitu ambacho kinaitwa precise. Maana yake vitu ambavyo viko kwa usahihi. Kwa sababu you must fail to get the, the correct answer because of the error that will happen during the experiment. So, before you do experiment, you have to learn about the errors the errors that will definitely happen during the experiment so as you may avoid it and you may take precautions when you are conducting an experiment so one of the errors and that is what we call it sources of errors and precautions one of the errors one of the errors is that uh, we just lose connection on the connecting wires lose connection on the connecting wires when you are conducting experiments, this thing may happen at the certain point. So to avoid this one, you have to make sure that wires are not tight. Every point, whenever now, if all the wires and the components are very tight. Manake ni kwamba kulegea kwa wire. Kwa shida moja mbae naezi kajitokeza wakati unafanya experiment ya physics, especially electricity practicals, current electricity practical ni kwamba unaweza kujikuta wire imelegea during your connection there must be a loose there must be or they may, ha may happen a loose of connection that is what we lose connection on the connecting wire kwa kabla kufanya experiment lazima ujue kwamba kuna kuna errors ambazo zinaweza kutokea moja wapo ni kwamba wire unaweza ukawa umelegea somewhere Na kama wire umelegea maana yake kuna connection ambayo ni mbaya kiasi kwamba itaongoza kutengeneza kitu ambacho hakitakiwi. Kwa hiyo unajikuta pale kwenye leading aidha ina lose leading au inafanya leading ambayo sio sahihi kwa sababu tu ya lose in connection. So lose connection on the connecting wire is the one of the error that should be considered when you are conducting experiment and especially current electricity practicals. Kwa ya kwanza niyo, chapi hili sasa utoe sugu ya hii, hakikisha nyaya zako zote zimejifu, umezifunga vizuri ili kuhakisha kwamba sasa ile conduction au conduction au ile circuit inakuwa complete kwa sababu zile wires inakuwa connected na zile other components kama labda ammeter, voltmeter, galvanometer and so forth inakuwa connected tightly with the connection wire. Kwa hiyo kwa avoid hiyo ni maambia tight well all the wires and components. Lakini kingine lazima u avoid kitu ambacho inaitwa short circuits. Short circuit is due to the reason that uh, there is a local connection that you have done. If now you have done the local connection, we expect some sort of the what we call it short circuit. Kwa kutakuwepo na sack na short kwenye circuit yako. Kama kuna kuwepo na, na, na short kwenye kwenye, kwenye circuit yako, matokeo yake ni kwamba unaweza kupata errors kwenye reading. Either galvanometer inaweza kasoma tofauti au ammeter inaweza kasoma tofauti ama voltmeter inaweza kasoma tofauti na vile ambavyo ulikuwa umetegemea. Na ukaona kwamba mimi niko sahihi wakati na conduct experiment yangu lakini kume kuna short imetokea kwenye circuit yako na hii short inatokana na local connection maana unafanya error connection kwenye kwenye circuit yako unaweza ukao umekosea kufanya hivi kufanya hivi kwa ili iwe sahihi avoid what we call it local connection in the circuit so the second error should be avoided is the short circuit that may lead to overheating of connecting wires 
Kwa matokeo ya short circuit tunaweza tukakuta ule waya umechemka kiasi kwamba unazidi kile kiwango na matokeo yake tayari utaleta ela hidden ambayo sasa wewe hauki expect. Kwa what you have to do is to understand what should I do so as to avoid short circuit. As I said you have to avoid local connection in the circuit. And the second thing that you have to avoid during conduction of what we call it when now you are conducting current electricity practicals you have to avoid what we call it zero l error zero error zero error means unapokuwa unafanya leading ile ammeter au voltmeter au galvanometer hakikisha ule mshale wa kusoma uko kwenye zero kwa unapoanzia kama hapa hii minanili yako hapa kwa hapa ni zero halafu mshale wenyewe umeanzia mbele ya zero au umeanzia nyuma ya zero kidogo hata kama ni ka point kadogo kiasi kwamba utakachokisoma hakitakuwa sahihi kwa sababu nyuma yako utakuwa umeacha kitu fulani au mbele yako utakuwa umeenda point fulani kwa sasa ili avoid hiyo zero error which using ammeter galvanometer volt, voltmeter the scale pointer should be adjusted to start at zero mark kwa huu mshale hakikisha kama unatumia galvanometer kama unatumia ammeter kama unatumia voltmeter hakikisha mshale na utengeneza kiasi kwamba unazuru una, una, unaenda kuchola au kusoma kwenye zero kwenye exact zero points au zero marks kwa sababu it is where now we should start kwa to avoid it you have to make sure that the scale pointer should be adjusted to the start at zero mark And then the second thing is all about parallax error. Parallax error inatokana na namna ambavyo unasoma ile galvanometer yako am voltmeter yako ama ama ammeter yako unapoisoma iweke perpendicular vertically perpendicular kwa sababu ukiraza kidogo inaleta changamoto Uki, kwa lazima uisome vizuri kwa sababu ukisoma hivi unaweza kujikuta umesoma kwenye point 05 labda umesoma 0.5 lakini kumbe mshale ukisoma vertically utajikuta umesoma kwenye 0.4 kwa maana hiyo unaposoma kile kifaa hakikisha unakiweka perpendicular na macho yako ili kwamba uweze kusoma kitu ambacho kiko sahihi ukifanya kinyume chako kama pembeni hivi kidogo utajikuta unasoma namba ambayo sio sahihi na ukienda upande mwingine hivi utajikuta unasoma namba ambayo sio sahihi kwa hiyo unaposoma ile voltmeter yako unaiweka perpendicular na macho yako kiasi kwamba sasa upate exact value ambayo tunahitaji ambao sasa tunasema parallax error kama unataka kwa avoid parallax error you have taken a perpendicular reading perpendicular reading kwa kama mimi nikifaa chanzo hiki ina maana nakitazama hivi perpendicular to my eyes kinakuwa kinatazamana na macho direct na sio kwamba unakaa pembeni hivi ama unakaa pembeni hivi lazima iwe perpendicular maana yake kifaa chako kiko hapa na macho yako hapo yako hivi kiasi kwamba tukichola kifaa chako na macho yako yanatengeneza 90 degree pa, 90 degree ambao ni perpendicular kwa hiyo ili avoid hiyo taking perpendicular a perpendicular reading lakini kingine tunaita errors ambazo we expect ni potential fall au potential drop in resistance why kwa sababu mara nyingi tunajikuta tunatumia battery ambazo huwa zinapungua nguvu kadri zinavyotumika. Kwa hiyo uki, uki, u, le, lazima hiki kitu ili uko avoid lazima hiki kitu kitokee. Na hivi sasa uweze kukiondoa hiki kitu katika mazingira yako wakati unafanya reading. Unapomaliza tu kusoma una una unazima unazima mkondo wa umeme ili kisiendelee kutumika kwa sababu eh, imagine mko sehemu ambako hamna source of electricity nyingine tofauti na dry cell au unatumia exact dry cell unapotumia dry cell ile dry cell ina ina nguvu ina haina nguvu ya kuweza kuendelea tu kubaki hivyo ina maana uwezo wake unazidi kupungua kadri unapokuwa connect muda unapozidi kuongezeka kwa maana hiyo ili angalau uweze kuitunza na uweze kuepusha kitu ambacho kinaitwa potential fall out drop in a resistance wire lazima sasa switch of the current immediately after recording kwa hiyo sasa unazima mkondo wako wa umeme 
baada tu ya kurekodi ili tena uanze kwa nyingine hii unaporekodi ya pili pasiwepo na partition drop endapo utaiwacha utaiacha iko on kiasi kwamba ile battery itapunguza nguvu kwa rhythm ya kwanza haitakuwa sawa na rhythm ya pili na rhythm ya tatu haitakuwa sawa na mwenzake kwa sababu kutakuwepo na partition drop sasa kuepusha hiyo partition drop unapomaliza tu kurekodi ile experiment yako ya kwanza una switch off halafu unaendelea kule kodi kama unaendelea kule kodi halafu tena switch on off on on mpaka utakapomaliza kwa hiyo ili kuepusha kitu ambacho inaitwa potential fault drop kwa hiyo general haya ni mambo ambayo yanaweza yakakusababishia matatizo wakati unafanya experiment current electricity sasa kwa void lazima uyaelewe kama uyaelewe matatizo ambayo unaweza ukakumbana nayo kwa maana hiyo experiment unaweza ukakonduct lakini mwisho wa siku ile experiment ikawa sio sio precise not precise why is it so because you have not done what is it required and then as i said for the summer you can make one of the errors lose connection on the connecting wire maana yake kulegea kwa wire ili kwa avoid kulegea kwa waya hakikisha sasa waya wako umefungwa sawasawa katika kila point umefungwa sawasawa na vifaa vyake vimekuwa connected kiasi kwamba hajuwezi sasa vikawa loose ambapo tunasema sasa loose connection ili uweze kwa avoid tight well all the wires and